What's up, y'all? It's me, that girl, the glamorous sweet tea. How y'all doing today, baby? Yes, your girl here to give you some entertainment. You feel me? So, without further ado, let's get on with this thing. You feel me? Oh, I forgot to say my intro. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification for when your girl do what? Drop them what? Bangers! And that's on everything, baby. All right. So, without further ado. Okay. What I'm coming to talk to y'all about today is this young lady that lives that's in my city right she's homeless okay this is a touchy situation all jokes aside you feel me she's going through it i ran into her right i saw her walking looking kind of run down i saw a man in a truck driving slow staring at her between all of that, she she remembered who I was. We know each other from back in the past. She was my neighbor many, many years ago. She was very young at the time, too. She was vibrant, cute, um, you know, smart. You know, she had all her mind at the time. Now, she's uh, there but not all the way there in the head. You feel me? It seems like she may be, and that's just speculation on drugs. But, okay, so when I ran into her, this time I got a chance to talk to her. She stepped to me. She gave me a hug. She said, long time no see. You're still looking beautiful, she said to me. I said, thank you so much. She said, um, she started begging right away. Do I have some money do i have some food she hungry she told me a story she homeless she went to jail prison whatever she had kids too when she went to prison her kids got taken away since she been out of jail prison whatever she ain't have no place to go her family acting funny with her they won't let her see the kids they won't take her in she from pillar to post. She's yeah. So she's sleeping at parks. She says when she's sleeping in the park at night, they're they're raping her. So she was about to cry. She was telling me the story. I told her to follow me. Um, at the time, I was on my way to the pharmacy, going to pick up something. So. She followed me there because what I was going to do was afterwards take her with me and give her something to eat. It was on my mind so hard to just take her in, let her take a bath. That's what I was going to do that day anyway. Let her bathe, feed her a good meal, uh, spread out some covers on my couch and let her just sleep the day away, you know. And uh, just let her be there maybe a couple of days because I felt so sorry for her. But when we went to the pharmacy, there was some people up in there. Um, I started talking to the pharmacy. One thing led to another. I told them about this girl's situation because she also told me that she wanted some money as well to go to um, a place uh, like an overnight shelter place that helps you. And you have to pay like $5 a night to stay there. So I started explaining to the people about her situation. Off top, they came up with some money. They gave me about $15, $20 to give to her. They told her she can have a soda out the soda machine. Um, and she was so excited when I gave her the money. And I looked around and told her that's what they did for you. Take this money and go to the shelter. 
She was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, thank you so much, y'all. She was looking around, thank y'all, thank you, thank you. Because it was a, a couple there too, an elderly couple. And they gave her a few dollars as well. She was like, oh my gosh, y'all so sweet, thank you, thank you. And um, I'm going to take this money right now and I'm going to go. And some of that money she was going to catch the city bus with to go. So me and her walked out the store together. She, We went into a... Uh, right around the corner a restaurant this is like a shopping plaza we went into the shopping plaza to a spanish restaurant and she went up in there to get her something to eat on top she wanted something to eat right quick and something to drink so i was happy that you know she had a solution and she didn't have to end up going home with me i gave her my phone number and i told her if you have any problems in the future call me you know what i'm saying i was gonna take her in a little bit from here to there because I felt so sorry for her okay but since then she never called me or nothing like that but I saw her like the next uh, day or two up and oh that's what that that's what was going on too she had met this dude that lived in the apartments that I live in that's in a wheelchair and that's what she was looking for that day when I ran into her she said I'm looking for this man He's supposed to help me, you know. She explained the situation to me. He told me that I can spend, I can stay there a little bit, and he'll feed me. And but he wanted sex in return and all that. Yeah, so that's what happened. And anyway, besides that, after I told her about my phone number and everything, she never called it. But I see her all the time now on the streets, walking the streets. Sometimes she run up to me and ask me, "Do I got money?" Sometimes she don't. I seen her in the meat store. She was with a Hispanic man. And I put two and two together. You could tell what she was in there for. The man was standing standing, and, uh, standing up in the floor, looking at her, letting her buy what she want. She was running around picking up this and picking up that. Getting all kinds of stuff, putting it on the countertop. It looked like she was excited. But I can imagine what all that was for. The Hispanic man looked, looked the perverted. And looked like all he wanted her for was sex. So in return, he was buying her stuff and finna take her home and screw her. You feel me? I know that's what was going on. I know it. You feel me? So she got in the truck with the guy. I was like, wow, she's living a dangerous game. You know, and I've seen her, you know, going up to all types of men. She was in a store parking lot one day. She she ran up on me in that store parking lot trying to talk to me and beg me and ask me for something. Here come the store personnel people coming out the store. Get off our property. Get away. Get out of our parking lot. Stop harassing our customers. And then one dude was doing too much that work at that store. He's like, go down the road now. Get your ass away from here. Go. Go. Now. Now. All that shit. I was like, oh my gosh, he ain't got to talk to us so rough. She was looking scared. I said, I called her name. I know her name. I'm not going to expose her name. I was like, leave, baby. Just leave right now, okay? Go. Because the way that man was looking, like he wanted to punch in her face. I was like, just go. Get off the property right now. Because the other, the other store clerk, this lady, she was on the phone getting ready to call 911. They was going to get her banned away from that store. So I told Lee, so she went to walking off. She was trying to say something to him and trying to argue argue back. I said, just go, baby, go. And she went, like I said. But, you know, I thought about it. I was like, wow, the life that some. So I was thinking, like, wow, the life that some people have to lead. You know, I really, my heart really go out to homeless people. And I did a video about homeless people. Y'all check it out. Here on my page a few days ago, I did one about my thoughts and opinions about homeless people and all that. But this girl right here, she really needs some help. She be in and out the shelter, back on the streets, sleeping with this person, sleeping with that person. I was standing up one day, too, talking to this dude that I know. He younger than me. Um, and she passed by looking at us and she said hey to me and she continued to walk on. And I told him, wow, you know, she's homeless, you know, and I told him about how she, you know, what what's, what's she going through, you know, how she sleeping around with people just to get, you know, for some food and 
how she done got raped at the park or whatever. I told him, be careful. I told him for a reason. Because some of our young men are so gullible. You feel me? They see a woman and they try to holler at them, you know? I've seen that and they don't even know that woman's situation. You know what I'm saying? So I warned him because he's young. He's around her age range. And she's not no bad looking girl. So I let him know because I know he probably is that type, type of a man, young man, to holler at her and sleep with her. And if she got something, then spread that thing on to other people. You feel me? So he was like, what? Word? Okay. That's what's up. Mm, wow. And all that. You feel me? But yeah. I just thought I'd come on and tell you guys this here, talk to you guys about that there, about this, you know, homeless uh, female. I hope in the end run it be a, a good outcome for her. I hope it don't be a bad outcome. I just see her everywhere. Every time I go somewhere, I see her walking the streets in the hot sun. She done turned the shade darker. And begging people to step into this person and that person. And what a sad situation to be in. You know, we, you know, sometimes we sit and we complain about our situation. We self-pity ourselves. But as the saying goes, there's always somebody that's worse off than you. And I like that church song that says, that's called Be Grateful because there's someone that's worse off than you. If y'all don't know that song, Look it up here on YouTube. It's called Be Grateful. And it goes, Be, be grateful. It's um two versions of that song. And it goes, Be grateful. Oh, because there's someone else that's worse off than you. Be grateful. Oh, because someone else would love to be in your shoes. And that's on everything. Just be grateful. Somebody else is worse off than you. And somebody else would love to be in your shoes. You feel me? I just thought I'd sing a little bit. That's not my best singing voice, but you feel me. It is what it is. So, I hope you guys enjoy my story. Go check out the rest of my stories. I'm always doing story time. I kind of feel like I use YouTube as like um, maybe like a diary that I write in every day. But I bring it to you from the mouth. You feel me? And I think I use YouTube like a book, like a novel, telling you parts of my life. You feel me? So one day I would love to write a book. You feel me? A poetry book and a life book. All right. So, yeah, your girl is out this thing. Y'all be careful. Y'all be safe. We have the COVID-19, a.k.a. the infamous coronavirus going on. Schools are shut down. My little girl is home from school. I just heard that the schools are going to be shut down the rest of the year here in Florida. You feel me? I feel that's a bonus. That's good. The president, he trying to reopen the, the country. And that's a big mistake. You feel me? So he going to cause havoc when he does that. Because we don't know much about this corona. We know it's deadly. And he don't need to be rushing to reopen this, the state. You feel me? He need to sit down somewhere. So anyway, that's what it is. That's my views, y'all. It's your girl, Sweet T. I'm about this thing. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'm on Instagram as the underscore talented underscore sweet underscore T. That's T-E-E. -E. Find your girl on there. I'm on TikTok as your girl. That's Y-A-G-I-R-L. Sweet T. T-E-E. -E. Go support your girl. Holla at your girl. Peace out. Be safe. Mask up, y'all. Glove up, y'all. Be safe. Watch who come into your home. You feel me, family and all? They could be carriers. Much love, y'all. Peace out.
Bye.